Hey there, Magic Community on YouTube. T1 Glistener Elf here. One of the followers of the channel, one of the patrons, is Rukalin, and she happens to be on Arena, so might as well jam some games against her, and while I'm at it, I'll preview a new deck of mine for you. Uh, although, because the backlog is so long, <laughs> this thing will barely still be in standard by the time this video goes out. So let me shoot a challenge real quick. We're going to play standard and historic, but we're going to start out with standard, with a, a deck that I've recently brewed up. It's not finished because of not having enough wild cards, or not wanting to spend the wild cards just yet. Uh, but it is Rug Glass Elementals, and I'll, I'll show you a deck tech afterwards if you don't mind. Let me get a game in because rukulin has been waiting for a while, so if you too would like to just directly challenge me whenever the heck you feel like it, uh, Patreon. Okay, so this is, uh, you can kind of see the idea. I, it's called Rug Glass Elemental, so Rug, Red, Blue, Green, or Teamer, Glass, Glass of the Guild Pact, and Elementals. Uh, so, <laughs> I was expecting to see Garuda Game 1. Uh, <laughs> different deck, but you know me well. Uh, so, yeah, I do play quite a bit of uh, land destruction, uh, but we're going to start off here. We're going to start off with... And, and I probably will play a good bit more land destruction before it rotates out of standard, because at that point, I'll just... There will be zero land destruction spells unless Zendikar Uprising gives us something. Uh, so let's see. I think that it makes the most sense here for us to play the Trailblazer. Let's just get the Trailblazer out. I'm not going to take any damage here just yet. Once we need to, we will. Um, so, some neat interactions in the deck. The, the usual ones, uh, like we have Risen Reef and Chandra, uh, so we can, that'll let us trigger it multiple times every turn. Uh, other broken stuff, the, the one non-elemental in the deck is Hydroid Crisis because it's a beast, and Kahira lets you play beast. Uh, Kahira also doesn't trigger Risen Reef, just in case that weren't obvious enough. Um, so we will play... Actually, in this case, I'll play Domri Anarch. And we will go Plusing. Uh, I did cut the voices off. So, sorry about that. Alright. Uh, and then we'll just... Hiya! Alright, there we go. That's what we, what we would like to see. Oh, fun! Okay. Let's see. The Lightning Storm can... makes this make a good bit of sense. So this is three. Um, and then I can use Domri's Ambush. Well, wait, I'm a little bit shy on mana, actually. Yeah, I'm a tiny bit shy on mana. Hmm. So I can have Creeping Trailblazer fight Grazer, hit for three, Rhythm of the Wild, because it is a blue deck. I think that that makes sense. Hmm. Actually, maybe I take it up, because I, I do have access to four mana. I can do... Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll take it up. We'll take it up here. All right. So, this can be countered. So, get red, blue, green... Okay, yep, we're good, we're good. Alright, so this baby can't be countered. So, 4-2, that's right, because of Trailblazer. Trailblazer doesn't boost itself, but it boosts others. Alright, uh, so we will go... Domri's Ambush, 1, 2, to deal the damage directly. Gets a counter, kills Jace immediately. And then we go on attacking duty. It does have reach, so Grazer will be able to stop me eventually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh dear. Uh, point of reference, Rukulin has gotten onto Arena uh, a little bit more recently. What I mean by that is that I, I asked, hey, if you'd like to play, and she said she didn't have all that much of a collection. I'm paraphrasing. Uh, hmm, okay. So we can go Trailblazer, Ambush? I guess that makes sense. <sighs> Let's see. I think that that's right. 
plus here. We'll do red, green, I don't have to actually fire off the ambush here. Um, if I do I do this, let's see, kill it. Yeah, okay, okay. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't strictly necessary. At all. I don't know how much I would like to put all of my eggs into one basket. But, oh, what the heck? Uh, three cards in hand. This has reach, and so would be able to stop the Stormkin. Nobody has trample here. Nobody. This is ramp, though. Yeah, let's fire it off here. Alright. Because even if they block, it doesn't change the clock. Alright. And then hitting for five. And Rukulin, one of the, the reasons that I appreciate her so much is that she constantly comes on my videos and tells me where I mess up. I, I like being told where I went wrong because it gives me a way to improve. Alright, let's see if the attack itself is good. If that'll do it. Oh! <gasps> nice! Okay, so it's it's uh, Turbo Fog. It's tur Oh! Okay, I talk about there are a few different archetypes that I really, really love to see. And yeah, that's that's one of them. I try to make Turbo Fog a thing all the time. I have a historic Turbo Fog deck with Reese, uh, and I try to make Land Destruction a thing in every standard. Doesn't really matter which I use. I right, will pass. Okay, uh, and whatever the closest thing I can find to infect for a given format is. All right, so let's try this again. We'll attack. Aha! Okay. And so it continues. Uh, I'd like to be a little careful with drop with a hydroid crisis. This is mill, but I have forty-seven cards. Actually, yeah, I think we're okay. So we'll add you. Play that. Plus to plus. And pass the turn. I don't think I'm going to activate Fable Passage for a while. Not for a hot minute. Yeah, just the two ambushes. Alright. Cool. Cool. What's going on? I do appreciate that this is a thing. Maybe this is... Maybe... I lost, but I'm going to show what the deck's really about. Alright. Please do. <laughs> okay, okay. So X is three. All right, three. Risen Reef, okay. All right, my turn. I, I will un leave it uncracked. Would you like for me to give you a turn? <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, she has blue, blue open. So she doesn't have the uh, actual fog. She can't fog me. Uh, no, it's fine. Okay. Uh, as you wish. Alright. So make green. And those two. Haste. Hi, ya. And they're vigilant too, because oh, oh! I should have seen that coming. I should have seen. Jeez, I knew. I've played that before in a Reese deck. How did I miss that? Okay, you're cool. <laughs> you're cool. All right. Yeah, Elemental Fog. I dig it. I dig it. Okay. I mean, fair enough. So if, it, if they're not, if she's not milling me, then I guess I do actually want to crack this for thinning. But it would let me make a bigger Hydroid Crisis. Deck doesn't make great. 
it's all right. I wondered if it was my Reese Fog deck from some months ago. All right. Oh, hello. Let's see. Oh, I guess I could just do that. That makes sense. All right. Taking two, going down a little bit further. Let's go get an island. That'd be cheating for standard. Oh, right. <laughs> it's late. <laughs> I guess it's early for her. All right. So let's try this again. Let's go hiya. Swing for yes. Do you have another one? Yes, yes you do. Okay. Alright. On to blockers. Nah. Next to damage. Nah. Alright. Is this necessary? No. Would I still like to? Yes. Alright. There we go. Woo! A giant hydroid crisis. And it's it's bounce proof. Kind of Ooh. Ah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, that's right. <laughs> This is so silly, and I love it. All right, how many more? Are we oh, okay, so tapped it. we're tapped out now. That doesn't mean it's the end, because pause for reflection has Convoke. Jeez, this looks cool. Let's try this. Hello? Spacebar? Spacebar? All right, here we go. Do you have it? You do. Oh my goodness. This is silly and I love it. Okay, okay. Yes, on the blockers. On to damage. Alright, now we, we have to start doing something about that. Let's uh, take out the original. And let's have you... Wait, 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 wait. What is the text of pause for reflection? Combat damage. Okay. This isn't combat damage. You deal with you. Hello, you. Boom. Yeah, I, I don't want to die. So, play this because why not? Why not? It's a very technical term. All right, ah, uh, more glass. <laughs> until every color... Oh, wait, for you it's this, right? Combination has been used. <laughs> yeah, for you it would be like that. <laughs> oh my goodness, not a... No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I might still lose, actually. I probably will at this rate. Oh no! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Alright, so how many cards are left? 17, dear god. Dear god. So, as I recall, there are 8 uh, fog spells that prevent all combat damage in standard right now. It's just Root Snare and Pause Reflection. That's all. As I recall, so we're, let's see, we're looking at 1, 2, 3, Pause Reflection, 1, 2, Root Snare. Okay. So, there's almost certainly one amongst them. Okay. So let's see. Uh, without using Domri, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I get an extra card if I use Domri. Um, at this point, though, let's see. So maybe I do Hydroid Crisis, save two mana just in case I draw a Dragonfire or a Domri's Ambush. But I think that that's right. So let's go X equals four. One, two, three, four. Auto pay it. Why not? 
What could go wrong? Okay, we did not. We did not. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we might as well try. Yep, okay, Root Snare. So, two more. Those must. Alright. I guess in that case, we will fight. And just keep fighting every turn. As long as we... Oh, okay. I love getting people with that in standard. Hello? I can type standard. There we go. Jeez. All right. Well, we have the mana for Jace. <laughs> this is cool. Now, this is not me holding back. This was me trying, actually. I don't know what I would have been able to do differently. It's mostly in for replicate, but that also works. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. How many cards left? Eleven? Oh, we lose. We lose here. Somehow, yeah, I mean, I guess it's theoretically possible that both Root Snare and Pause, the last ones, are in these bottom five cards. Mm, dear goodness. Alright, this is silly. And I, ah, good game, good game. Good game. <laughs> All right, well, that was cool. This brought to you by some uh, LaCroix, coconut LaCroix. Um, could we play it again? Uh, you know what? Actually, now's probably not a terrible time to... Uh... All right, so here's the... Hello. Hello. Oh, does it not? Let me do it from there. Alright, here's the deck list as it stands right now. It's not finished, but this is, well, this is it so far. So it's running four Scorching Dragonfire, four, a bunch of Elementals, four Lightning Storm, <laughs> no, no, not yet. Uh, four Creeping Trailblazer, two Domri's Ambush, only the two, so that leaves me with uh, six removal spells in the deck. Uh, we have four Glass, of course, everything in the deck is multicolored. Well, every, every creature is. Uh, three Chandra Acolyte of Flame for the Continuous Elementals. It gets boosted by, uh, ri well, helps Risen Reef and gets boosted by Trailblazer, but doesn't benefit from Glass, though. Uh, one Domri Anarch of Bolas for the uh, extra power and uncounterability and mana and fighting, so just a little bit of everything. Living Twister is weird, but it's one of those cards... I can't play Giganther if I play Living Twister, but this has actually saved me a game or two, or or five, so this is fine. Rhythm of the Wild maybe shouldn't be in here. It gives up a turn with a creature. And actually, I should probably change that out now, but I guess since we've gotten started, I'll wait. Uh, one Zerta the Dawn Waker, uh, four Risen Reef, a Domri, uh, this one's Chaos Bringer, so you can kind of see what's going on here. Now, both of those are red, so Chandra Acolyte actually helps both of the Domries as well, and this one has an ult that wins the game. Parcel Beast is because I ran out of Elementals, and would like to be able to have something else in this slot, but okay. I like another Omneth, that would be nice, uh, but I am not spending a wild card on something that's about to rotate that I may or may not play in Historic. Uh, one Gigantha in the main board, oddly enough. I, I'm actually considering spending cards on Krasis, because this I will play in Historic. Uh, and then here's the mana base, one island, two mountains, two forests, four demons, four stomach ground, four breeding pool, three Ketri Trium, and a fabled passage. I only have three, otherwise there'd be a fourth. Uh, I'm just trying to draw into it. Uh, the cards that I open most... Oh. <laughs> Not yet. I'm... I'm loving the... <laughs> silliness. <laughs> And then do my, my signature face. Alright, so let's try this out. Alright. I'd like to try it again. Um, should I do the same one? I would like to show off the deck that I just gave you the deck tech out for one more time. Unfinished. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do a different deck. If that's alright with you. I'm just probably going to do the same thing twice. 
Maybe. Bug glass standard. This one's also not finished. This one's actually even worse, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, for now, Stork Gen. Obliterator Devotion. Like some of these, these are weird, but you sort of see where the deck is going. Uh, let's see. Ah, this one's Popper. That's always fun. I don't want to be that guy. Maybe I should play Garuda. Maybe I should not. I don't get to play Delver too much more. Alright. Yeah, let's say... Let's let's say... Yeah, Glass. We'll do Glass again. I would like to give the deck a real showing. I know those are water droplets, but for some reason I keep thinking... Because... No, yeah, Moo is... No. Moo's not the moon one. Ah, here we go. That's Tamio. For some reason I get like a... Air is her shtick. That's right. That's what it is. Alright, so we'll play that out and pass the turn. So once again, no Risen Reef. I would much... I would very much like to say... Aha! Here we go. Same matchup. I suspect. Could be wrong, but... I don't think so. So the deck uses green mana more than blue, typically, but here I'm actually going to get an island. Just came in at once. Ah, there's Risen Reef. Okay, right on time. Uh, in that case, I'm actually... A, this is probably greedy, especially given what's going... I mean, I actually, I can't sneak the damage through the Grazer anyway, so we will just let it come in tapped and play the Risen Reef first. That way I can get the trigger off of it. Alright, subscribe one. Oh, it's a different deck, actually. Ah, the goose is loose. The goose is really loose. Uh oh. That's a lot of mana. That's a lot of mana, folks. Alright, come on, deck, do your thing. Risen Reef, go get stuff. Hey, we're ramping. Woo! To get mine to do its job. Oh, hi, Luca. Oh, hi, Luca. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's a Luca deck with creatures other than big creatures? What? What? Does the. Wait. With higher CMC. I forgot you can do that. Okay. So everything's one except. Okay, okay. We got there, we got there. I, I figured it out now. I is big smart. Okay, so how do we do this then? Thinking. Thinking. Okay, so I can go... Stormkin, Stormkin. Attack Luka. But I actually would only be able to put Luka to one. Which might still be what I need to do just so that we don't get another shot here. But I'm pretty sure this is game, actually. I don't run black or white, so I don't run removal. That could really work well on Dracoseth. And when Dracoseth attacks, there there actually goes my board. So I think I'm done here. I could play Omneth to put it to one. That would give me one instance, one trigger off of Risen Reef. Uh, but I, maybe I need the extra trigger. Good grief, there's a lot going on here. I'm gonna lose my whole board. So, Omnith will only be able to do one next time around. So I guess we do actually want to... When it enters the battlefield, target health. It doesn't... That part doesn't matter because we're going to lose it regardless. Alright, so one trigger off Risen Reef. Yeah, we can deal two here. Alright. Target elemental I control. I mean, I guess I can force them to put the four onto Omneth with that. I say them as if I don't know who my opponent is. <laughs> All right, so this at least gets Omneth out of range. Does that a win make? No, heck no. And Dracoseth flies too. Okay, Caretaker. Not my preferred broken elemental. <laughs> but 
but it'll do. I think that you take this one. Huh. Okay. Ow. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a way to get out of this. I can play Hydroid Crisis on four, gain two life, go to nine. It's a four, so Dracoseth hits for f uh, uses the four to hit me, hit the Crisis. Swings for seven. Puts me to two. I get to draw a couple extra cards. No, we don't, unfortunately. I mean... I have no <laughs> brazen borrowers. <laughs> oh, it broke the face. It, it broke my face. I don't even know where to start here, to be honest. I, I can use Dragonfire to take Luca down, but honestly, if I do that, Hydroid Crisis gain one, it's just a... They, would, they could spend the three? Oh yeah, then we'd be dead. Okay. Here it goes. Okay, well, stuff. Stuff happened, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll put it onto the only elemental I have. Uh, they're all zero, so I'm, I might as well... Might as well let the attack go through and get blocked by literally anything. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is so silly and I love it. Alright. So, four here, right? Okay. Up to two. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, got me. That'll do. I forgot there can be three shot at me as well. That was cool. That was cool. Let me see. I'll, I'll play a different deck. Not the best showing for it, but maybe a, hello, a different deck can do the job. I, I should stop trying to play glass decks in standard, uh, or just period, because glass decks are fair decks. You play your creatures, make your creatures big, and win the game. There's nothing especially broken about them. Whereas, whereas, even just something like this, is it Delver? And granted, I probably have some extra cards that can go in here that I've opened since. I don't necessarily know what they'd be, but I'm sure that there has to be something. Uh, but this seems like it'd be a, an okay deck. <laughs> Same, I suppose. I, I say I suppose because what is reasonable? I'm not... Reasonable is relative. Does reasonable mean... Uh, well, so I guess what I am doing is kind of broken. It's another one of those potential to make the game end very quickly decks. Okay. And we'll jam some historic in a bit, too. Alright, there we go. I mean, I'm getting destroyed today, tonight. <laughs> Alright. Oh. I, th I don't know if I need to say hello. I think I know. <laughs> Alright, so we'll take it and pass. No need to hold up control here. Ooh, okay. Uh, we'll opt. We'll opt just to do it. Uh, Sprite Dragon's good. Sprite Dragon first. Hi ya. Boop. Bibbidi bop. Now, that, however, is a deck that can take, that can deal with Sprite Dragon. And she's in colors for, uh, oh, nope, okay, never mind, no Heartless, uh, what's it called, Heartless Act, Heartless Cruelty? None of that, it seems. Now what do you do? Afterlife 2. Huh, okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know that I necessarily need to use one of these yet. But I guess the same thing can be said for Lava Coil. I do want to watch that. Now, this looks like it might be an Aristocrat's deck where they have a way to sacrifice it. Or she has a way to sacrifice it. I will, I will fix that at some I will eventually stop saying that. <laughs> Force of habit. Um, we can use this on Ministrant because we can use something like Shock on Celebrant. And we do want to cast something so we can get some counters on it while she's tapped out. Uh, just because Heartless is such a popular card. Alright, stuff. Tesa! Ah, Well... Punished. <laughs> punished. That's okay, I guess. Now I'll use Winged Words. Alright. So we'll draw a couple. And I guess I should have fetched first for deck thinning. That, that would make too much sense, wouldn't it? Hmm. Better late than never. I'm gonna... Let's see. Maybe. She does... Creature tokens you control have Vigilance and Lifelink. We're just about to get out of range of this. I could play the Temple and... I'll, I'll shock here. Hello? I'll shock here. That's fine. It doubles the the triggers, doubles the instances. And this will let me play Crackling Drake on the next turn. Oh, hello. Hello, nurse. Boing. Uh, that's the sound that makes. Boing. I don't remember you. Sir Conrad. <laughs> Conrad, nice. Whenever the other creature dies or a creature card is put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield, or a creature that card leaves your... Okay. One damage to each opponent. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so I would need to get you up to eight, Sprite Dragon, in order to kill this turn. And it does not have reach, of course. Okay, I would need to get you up to eight. I can do one, two, put you up to six, but I can't quite get there just yet. So maybe I want to play it a little bit more slowly. So we can... Let's see. This is four... We can kill one of these. Either one, I suppose, is fine, but Conrad's probably the, the more egregious one, though that is also the one around which the deck has been built. So, we'll go here, activate, get an island, Island, get an Island. Alright, radical idea. Okay, fair enough then. Uh, in that case, Beacon Bolt targeting you. Alright. And hi ya! Hit for six. Alright, so we have lethal next turn. Assuming no removal, and on that much mana, there has to be something. Of course, there's something. I do want to be careful here. Uh, Rooklyn probably doesn't know, but this deck has no counter magic in it. Okay. That's a good card. We'll keep it. We'll hang on to that. Let's see how this attack works first. How this attack pans out. I mean, you ha Sprite Dragon has to be dead. It's dead. Okay. That's okay. So now we'll fire the beacon bolts, discarding steam vents. Alright, and then play this out and end the turn. We'll have Crackling Drake later. This deck, as I recall, I believe has one maximized velocity in it. I believe. Uh, hmm. Let's take the Terramander, just in case we have another kill spell to deal with, with which to deal. <laughs> Gavlin wheel, Gavlin deal. 
I love Dark Souls. Can you tell? Alright, so Terramander. You know, you know what? Actually, since we have the ability to uh, adapt the Terramander anyway, let's fire the Crackling Drake off. It is possible that we could get punished here with uh, mass removal. I think we're going to be okay, though. Alright, no haste, so pass it right along. Alright, who's dead? Okay. Yeah, when you're already in lethal, your life total essentially, like, essentially doesn't matter. Either of the- well, Kai- okay, now that's the- that's what would punish us. You gain life equal to the number of creatures that were destroyed this way. Okay. That's fine. That's not ideal, but that's okay. We'll live with it. Uh, let's scry first. Nope. Nope. Okay. Let's glimpse. Oh, hello. Let's see. Um, I don't know that there's much of it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it now. All right, where are you? That's fine. And then we'll pass. Anticipate. So we have well more than enough to pull the escape clause. Enters the battlefield each... Okay, so this only affects creatures, it seems. Okay. And she's very thoroughly dead here. So it's that's not a big deal. Huh. Crackling Drake. Let's go. Alright, so Drake first. Shouts to Drake. Okay. Fire this off. And then... Pass turn. We can cycle if we need to. I, I doubt we will, but we can. Blood for bones, uh-oh. What's in the graveyard again? Dear God. What's in the graveyard? Is it... I missed it, I'm afraid. I don't remember if there's... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, I, I couldn't remember if anything had been discarded over the course of the game. Alright, good game. In fact... YOLO! I mean, because why not? <laughs> why not? So yeah, that's in fact. Uh, there isn't in fact, of course, but that's the closest thing that I can find to it in the format, so... It's my... sort of unfair deck. It's at least consistent, if actually a little bit slow. Um, let me know when you'd like to move to Historic. <laughs> Alright. We've only been going for a bit over half an hour, so I can, I can keep playing. Ah, oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> These don't count for this. I was playing a few games before, uh, before she pinged me, messaged me. You know, whatever. Sent me a, uh, a singing telegram, a homing pigeon, <laughs> letting me know. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I'm good with whatever, though. In the meantime, while we're at it, let's see. Look at the other standard decks. I don't have all that many right now. I, I cleared off quite a few. This is budget and not finished anyway. Even if it were budget, it's not finished. This is just a bunch of spells. Golgari Glass for more glass. This isn't really a brew. This is just cavalcade. It says, excuse me, sorry, it says artisan, but that's actually old. It's just cavalcade. Yeah, it's just cavalcade at this point. I guess Golgari glass would be interesting. Uh, this is one that's not running any companion, so no Gigantha. Uh, and so as a result, it gets to run Golgari fine broker, and I have some other cards to add to it. It hasn't been updated yet. Uh, <laughs> Death Sprout, lols. You know, you know, you know, let me make sure I don't happen to have any copies of 
heartless cruelty. I don't. Still not. Still not. Okay. I'm not sure that I'd like to... Oh, I... Hmm. I, I guess I'll shoot a challenge over. She may be building something. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't blame her. Oh, no. no, no. What are we doing? Hello? There we go. There we go. Standard. Just making sure so I don't put the wrong one in. Though I wonder if that makes it sound like I'm trying to move off of standard. I do have a few more historic decks than I do standard, though, so... I... yeah, more standard, I say. Okay, fair enough. Uh, in that case... oh, hello. Standard. Standard. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah? Let's go for it. Glass. Your message always get held back until they come into step three, by the way. Hey, <laughs> did you see this one? Oh, it took it away. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. It's just arena being weird, right? All right. Hey, did you see this one? Hey, did you see this one? <laughs> hey, did you see this one? <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> Okay, I forgot for a sec what I was on. Oh, I need to update the land base too. Oh, it's fine. It's okay. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Oops. Oops. Whee! Alright, so there's the indicator. It's a different deck, at least. Uh, let's play Swamp into Swarm Guild Mage. Ooh, okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Alright, this could be anything. Absolutely anything. There's that budget mana base I love. Like, unironically, I'm, I'm cool with that. Alright, let's play this and hit for two. Boing. Alright, there we go. Because that's the sound it makes. Boing. Ooh, okay. Hi, Thassa. Oh, neat. Okay. Whale. Whale. Huh. So even that's... <laughs> this is me not blaming you one bit. Alright. Let's see. I don't know that I need to start with... I would kind of like to end this quickly, though. So actually, yeah, let's, let's do... Fable Passage. into another swamp, because double forest in hand. We're just doing this all main phase because she's tapped out. Thanks. Uh, decline. Hiya. So eventually we can get to the emblem and just, oh, jeez. Okay, well that's, that's, it could be worse. We have Obnixilis' Cruelty. And part of the reason we do is that this makes it... Oh, it... Ah. Uh, okay. So the other trigger is when it dies. Thankfully, it's when it dies. Well, okay. Brainstorm is fun. <laughs> not, not, not being facetious there. That Brainstorm is actually a whole lot of fun. All right. Especially repeatable ones. Alright. At this point, I can afford to... No, 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 it's not. That's good. I can afford to sack stuff. So we'll sack Swamp so I can draw a card. No, life gain doesn't matter, it's drawing a card. I just need to make sure that I can keep up on resources against a deck like this. Jeez. Oh god, no shuffle effects though, so I guess it. while it is Brainstorm, it may not feel quite like it. Aha! Okay. Alright, well... You want to run that by me again? <laughs> Alright. 
get an emblem with whenever... Uh, okay, so that's nine. Well, plus again, because we have no creatures in hand. Get rid of the forest this time. Let's say... I'm actually kind of tempted to take the assassin just so that I'm... Well, no, the one that I have is indestructible. But it can get... Uh, yeah, let's take the trophy. Just in case. Alright. Pass it right along. So the condition here is pay for life gets indestructible until end of turn. Tap it. Bouncing is still a thing, though. Okay. Do I just win? Surely not. Surely not. Oh, okay. Indeed, I do not. Oh. Hey, that that is correct. That is correct. I'll get it back, but that that kind of sucks. <laughs> oh no. Draw all of the cards. All right, that's good. Uh, how about you? Hey, chickadee. Is that something people say outside of the U.S.? Chickadee? Actually, is that a southernism? I genuinely do not know the answer to that. Alright. Have to fire it now. Ta-da! Alright, so resolving the trophy. And... Draw. I guess now we should just decline it. Unfortunately, the emblem is out of question at this point, because Cloud, uh, Cloudkin Seer is just going to keep Braska down. As you do. To be fair, as you do. Alright. That's a Zoria skill gate? Yep. Okay. Alright. Here goes nothing. Let's see. Devotion at three. Alright. So hit Vraska a bit. Things I can do here. I can... Yeah, okay. So this is an extra draw. I can... Plus Vraska to get rid of the Lich, then use Liliana. Well, I need Liliana to resolve first. That's the trick, the kicker. So I need to cast Liliana first, just to make sure it works. Okay. My turn. What do I get? Hello? Oh, okay, okay. <gasps> nice! Excellent hold. Excellent hold. Okay. Whale, then. Yeah. Let's see if this even, uh, does it resolve? No, it does not. Okay. That's fair. In that case... Sack... Swamp, I believe. And draw a Skull Prophet. If at first you don't succeed, attempt to drown them in cards. Though I think that her deck is slightly better at that than mine. Little does she know. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, but this is post-combat, so no attack with Dasa. I wonder if that was intentional, as a matter of safety. Huh. Okay. Assassin. Assassin actually makes zero difference, because everything's going to attack. Ah, okay. Yeah, I, I did think about that. I did think about that. Okay, so Vraska can't mine us here. Let's see. Thinking. Um. So these all fly. You don't. Underrealm Lich can trade six for four using that. Gives me something I can do. Skull Prophet, Ocran Assassin. Ocran Assassin can force the attack, but they're going to do that anyway. This is awkward. This is awkward. 
I guess Lich lets me dig for an out. Like Obnixilis' Cruelty. So maybe I'm supposed to do that. And let's see what all I have left. Oh, there should be plenty of basics left. Alright, so we'll fetch first. Thin out the deck a little bit. Alright, it doesn't matter. I'll get a forest. And then I'll sack the forest. Sack the tapped one. Find finality. I don't have a land now. That wasn't exactly the out to which I was playing. It also doesn't end up actually killing... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is still the best card here, so I will take it. It doesn't end up actually killing where I need it to. All right. All right, Underrealm Lich. Ooh, Borrow. Okay, that's fine. So Finality will not take out Gales, but will take out these and put Thassa back. But we're about to take a huge hit here. Somehow, we might be able to let this finality resolve. If we get another land. Big if. Okay. There we go. I dig it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can't stop it. Can't stop one. Oh, wow. If I can find another land, and if this resolves, then this finality will be pretty silly. I can put two counters on Lich. Oh, no. Never mind, then. All right. Don't have counter magic. Don't have counter magic. Please. In those... Jeez. Wow. In those six cards, don't have any counter magic. Six cards with selection. How? Didn't matter. Okay. So, how do I get out of this? I don't. But if I were to, statue on detention, on deputy, that gets back my lich. I can also use Vraska for essentially the same purpose. Except, Statue can be used on Cavalier, but that's not the case. And see, the order is Shuffle It, then Scry to. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's a lot going on here, folks, and none of it is good. So for the sake of my life total, I have to kill the Cavalier. And just hope it can't come back. Please let this resolve. Okay, it, it dies. Uh, shuffle, scry two. Okay, so we're about to take quite a bit here. We're about to take 12. Oh, we're dead. We're exactly dead. Yeah, actually, it didn't matter. I could not do it. I could not. Will it not let me give the. There it goes. Let me, let me give the good game. Man, <laughs> it is not looking hot for me. All right. Hmm. I guess I could go try hard. I guess. <laughs> I had to count twice as well. Well. Ah, there's no edit. Whatever. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we could do... I guess we can do Cavalcade. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. You know what I haven't played yet? You know what I haven't played yet? One that might have done okay in that matchup. Maybe. Maybe not, but maybe. I would like to think so. All right. Oh, Historic now? We can if you'd like. Alright. Oh! 
No, that's not what I mean to do. Select deck. Oh, here we go. Alright. So now, if we're in Historic, Obliterator Devotion is fun, but it's pretty straightforward, I guess. This one's silly. Merfolk. Let's go with Merfolk. I would like to play that. Alright. Let's see. What do we have going on here? Okay. Keep. The first turn will kind of reveal it. So, breeding pool, so that we can have turn two trickster if we need. <laughs> Channeling my inner Nikachu. Alright, let's see then. So, if that's the case, I think we just need to start putting pressure on. We'll just play this main phase, because why not? I guess. Rejury! Yes! Please! Thank you. Alright. Oh boy! So, obviously we play that. Hope it resolves. It resolves. Hit for seven. Welcome to Merfolk! Alright, so... Yeah. At the beginning of your instant, you can do seven or more. Alright. And this just simply comes to hand. Which is obviously okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Well... We don't have lethal yet. So say it. So say it. Let me see. I, I'm a little bit worried about a Wrath, so I, I don't want to play further into it. Let's go to combat. Aha! Okay, there we go. There we go. To be expected, I'm afraid. Alright. So with that, I can play... I'm almost... <laughs> it's an Umori deck. After all. It's gonna cut it off again. Yep, it sure did. It sure did. Uh, so we can go... Speaker... Umori. And then go from there. Ah! Okay. Hi, Teferi. Yes. Okay. Kind of wish I had. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Let's play Umori here. A uh, creature. And then Seafloor Oracle. Now, when this transforms. Ooh, that's a pretty good one against me. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm going to lose to Mill again. I can. Alright, so draw, and that's, that'll trigger it again. And Compass gets to do its thing. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Two here, three here. Because of the way that Oracle is worded, I have to deal damage to a player in order to draw a card. So spot removal on the Amori is going to be a bit of a problem. Revitalize, okay. Let's see, I'm thinking. And I suspect that the answer is that I would like to play out a Weaver here. Beginning of your end step, okay. 
Boom, boom. Okay, so back to where we were, plus I get to draw a card. Against Mill, though, so for whatever that's worth. Alright. I'm just trying to represent lethal as best I can. How about Merfolk, please? Okay, so this is already lethal. I guess to play around Revitalize, I could play one more, and I have the Trickster held up. Let's see. Settle the Wreckage. Arch of Arazka. Very nice. Each player draws a card. If you have the City's Blessing, instead only you draw a card. Huh. Yeah, with two mana open, that... Is that Root Snare? I haven't seen any indication that this is a... Ah, ha, ha, Too bad I'm not on Revel in Riches. <laughs> Alright. So this gives away that I have something. Obviously, right? Alright, so that's two mana. It could be something like Root Snare. Hello? There we go. Uh huh. Oh, you know what? That might be it. So I'll just flash in Trickster. That way, no matter what, I should have lethal here. Oh, wait, they have four mana open. Yeah, no, they... This feels wrong. Let's see. So, how much is this? Tapped? Untapped target attacking creature. So that's you. Uh, one. All right, so five, eight, eleven... 14, after they bl stop Imori, so I don't have to attack with one creature. Uh, but if they have, if she has Revitalize, I do. YOLO. There we go. Did you have it? Do you have it? Alright, so there we go. Ah, oh, okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Actually, no, Revitalize would have still killed. The answer is neither. Ah, merfolk. Merfolk, merfolk, merfolk. Actually, Revitalize didn't see. Didn't save you either. So I should have kept a creature back regardless. Deck usually works great against Merfolk. Unfortunately, I didn't draw any root snares or wipes. I was wondering out loud, aloud if root snare were in there. Guess, guess so. So root snares in. Settle the wreckage. Is the best fog, though. <laughs> Except against some silly like leyline deck. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you knew what I meant. <laughs> I have another deck. Let's try something else. How's about? How's about my touchscreen work? There we go. Ha ha! All right. Ah. Ah. There we go. Cool. Hmm. These decks are so old. They're ancient. They haven't been. The mud decks haven't been updated in ages. Same baby. I'll play something a little different. Uh, should I play Literator Devotion or Soul Soldiers? I guess Devotion is fine. Uh, either way, I don't feel, I don't think that I'm going to do all that well here. 
against a Settle the Wreckage Fog deck. I, well, I guess a Devotion does better because it has the it has Gary in it. We'll just play it on curve. Alright. And Rukulin follows the channel, so she knows what that means. It's generally not the case that you want to try to use your fin lurkers too, too early, because the sooner you use it, the more choices you give the opponent. However, I would like to keep the curve going. One, then two, then three. Whether three means Reaper or an activation of Knight. Search for Escanta. In this case, it probably means activating Knight. It does. I believe that it's correct to do this. Alright. Say it's a card in hand. This probably... Mm, I don't know. We'll see. So one search is good. I even play one search in some vintage decks, believe it or not. Psychic Corrosion. This is, uh, whenever you draw a card, each opponent mills two. Okay. So it's a more expensive Jace's Erasure. Let's actually see what we ha what they're working, what she's working with. Let's see what you're working with. Oh, God. Oh, God. I guess we take Settle. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you don't speak Spanish, do you? Sorry, that's what that means. Alright. So, I guess I will hit for three. Not quite enough. Hit fine. Hit fine and you cool. Alright. Well, we are playing a little slow and steady here, though. Oh no, there went Citadel. I had a feeling. Obviously, it's just a superstitious belief, right? But I had a feeling that that was the time to cycle the Baron more. I'm not psychic, nobody is. But I had that moment, I guess. Okay. We don't actually need to activate the Knight here in order to trigger it. Now, M Midnight Reaper here would help if we happen to come across, say, like a time... What's it called? Time Warp? Ah, uh, there we go. Not Time Warp. Time Wrath. There we go. It's Time Wrath. Die. Yay, it's big. Alright, so I need to cast zero more spells for the rest of the game, hopefully. We can just keep fa fogging. Actually, Obliterator isn't all that useful here. Cleansing Nova. Okay, so I get to draw four, but Settle comes back to hand. Let's see if there's anything we'd like to take out. No. You have Settle back, at least. I mean, I guess that that works. Alright, so Kling, while she's tapped out, Kling Cleansing Nova. So, no negating him. Aha! Yeah! Top deck of glory. Oh yeah, my own, drawing my own cards can end up biting me. Will end up biting me. Ah, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, you're not wrong. You are most definitely not wrong. Alright. Alright, there's that. Boom. Alright, play and make another. That's maybe a little overkill, but yee! Alright. 
Yeah, we actually can draw another with Kling, though I do want to be careful about that. I want to be... I would very much like to be really careful about doing that against a mill deck. Alright, and... Wait. Oh, I needed to there for search. Oops. Oops. Alright, so Settle is, all, is already in, obviously. 27. We are getting dangerously close, folks. What's done is done. Alright. Well, I guess, I mean, I can do this. Which one would you like to give up? It's Negate. Negate is the one she gives up, for sure. Yeah, okay. That was one million percent correct. Uh, for that many basics. Alright. I don't even know how many I have left, to be honest. Okay. I need to be careful. So wait a minute, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which means it can be Root Snare as Kanta, which probably is what it has to be. So if that's the case, I have 26 to go. Yeah. Four attackers. Alright. I gain life. That totally matters. In turn. Alright. Can we get there? Yep, okay. So no need for even the root snare. Which I guess makes sense. I didn't force lethal here. I couldn't force lethal. Ah, cleansing nova. Oh boy. Oh, that would draw me so many cards. Oh my god, that would draw so many cards. It's not, you may draw a card. It's draw a card. Dear God. I might lose to my own passive in a bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I guess that's a thing. All right, go on to my turn, I guess. All right, let's do it now. So one land and Psychic Corrosion, and that's all she has left. Yeah, I'm winning off Gary. Let's see, my lands are all swamps, so I can go Thin Lurker. Oh, wait, I can just win here. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't win just yet. I needed to have two more. Two more pips. I was looking at Phyrexian Obliterator, but I couldn't cast that and Merchant this turn. Ah, oh, good game. Yeah, Liliana ult. She's a two of in the deck, and she's silly. She's she's pretty good. Yeah, when it comes to this, I'll I just mash through it, just get it over with. All right. Anything else seems potentially BM. Like it come it could come across the wrong way. All right. You haven't been saving cards for as long as I have. So this is really impressive. I, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I am. Let's see. Get another one in. 
been playing since the beta. Oh. You had a long break, right? You had a long break though, right? I may have misunderstood. I That may be what, what happened. Alright, so now we'll play the other one. Soul Soldiers. Yeah, multiple mo <laughs> months long breaks. Okay, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, there you are. There you are, buddy. Alright. The, the long hair out of the way. Oh, I still have Memorial to Glory in here. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Well, uh... Huh. Soul Warden. Cool. Yeah, you know what's up. When I play that, you know what's going on. Okay. Okay. Like, Ness. Okay. Alright, so we'll have Seal Away in just a bit. Seal Away is not attacking creature, simply a tapped creature, target tapped creature. Which means... I guess that's not needed. We'll do this instead. I can go... Or do I want to use the Conquistador here? I believe I'm supposed to Seal Away to get rid of some ramp. I believe that that's correct. Hello? There we go. Bang. Bang. <laughs> Aha! There you are. I popped my neck doing that. Oh, my goodness. So here, here, I can go one, two, three, yeah, and still have Conclave Tribunal up. There we go. Get all three of you. Now, I'm actually going to use the Tribunal on the Whisperer, I believe. I believe that that's correct. Steel Leaf will definitely attack. Whisperer can stay back after a certain point. Oh no! Oh no, well I kept them from drawing a card. I kept them from drawing one card. And at least we have the extra seal wise. If nothing else. Oh good grief. I'm getting drowned in card advantage. There's a pride mate. Touchscreen is being ornery. Alright. Alright, so let's play out a 3 3, I guess. Nailed it. Actually, it's a 4 4. Nailed it. We can try to come back. <laughs> I mean, I have drawn quite a few cards. Ah, oh, come on! You stop this. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> oh boy. I mean, I have to be able to swing through, and without a Shadow Spear, that isn't happening in this deck. And yes, I gain, I gain life, which means it gets bigger. Da 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 da. I don't think that that behooves me quite as much. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say probably not. Okay, Daxos. You do your thing. I suppose. That still leaves me with Seal Away out, which I will gladly use. Not that they can really attack with the, uh... Oh, it's still, uh, still under mine. Never mind. Never mind. Still leaves back here. Never mind. Alright. Where is Growing Rites of Itlamok? I'm waiting for that. Oh, fun. Do it. Do it. Bang. 
Oh yeah, did I seriously not attack with Healer's Hawk on my turn, somehow? I did not. Oh, no, 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 okay, okay. It's fine. Plus one, plus one, until end of turn for each creature you control. Nice. Yeah, that hurt. I'm hurt, dog. Don't ask if I'm okay. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. That's only until end of turn, right? Is that a, so that's about to expire. Why are we not attacking? Oh, gah. So if that's about to go back to being a 5-4, uh, I'm thinking... Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious what's in my hand at this point. The thing I've cast a bunch of times. I think maybe I'm actually more worried about you. And the mana that you generate. I shouldn't be, but I am. Ha! Huh. Oh, if I could gain just a little bit more life. Then... Uh, Holy crap. Alright. Yay, so I have a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, huh. How do I want to do this? I think I need to keep the healer's hawk... Wait. Yeah, I think I want to keep the healer hawk back, right? Right? No. No, I want to gain life. Well, I'm about to lose some life here anyway. I don't know how useful this is. Uh, oh, this is so weird. What can I do to get my opponent, to get Rooklin to play out some more cards? Alright, so this is 33. Yeah, okay. Okay. Alright, good. Alright, if I can get up to 35 life, and still have a Janny around... That is a zero, so all Johnny has to do is live. That's it. Alright, he's, he's about to die here. He's about to die here, though. I have a sneaking... G -g dear God. Okay. Well, uh, we can at least make some nice little trades here. Uh, huh. Okay. So... Uh... Johnny here... Yeah, sorry, Johnny, you're not, you're not living this. It's actually impossible. So we're just going to make some, the best blocks we can here. And just hope somehow that this isn't, ends up being enough. This may not be right. Maybe I'm supposed to take out some mana. Although, there's already an elf in hand. And no matter what, you're done. Alright. And if I lose this, then I get another trigger on a Johnny do this, actually. Alright. Oh, okay, no, no pump. No mass pump. You do what you have to do, though, I guess. Aha, Rex Age. Get it right back. Oh, no! Oh, no, Mr. Bill! Yeah, okay, so there's only one Johnny in this list. One of that Johnny. So, I no longer have the ability to blow up the field. Well, I say that, and then guess what I draw immediately afterwards. Good grief. Good grief. Okay, then. Um, but we're not doing it yet. Although, three, 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 but then again, three. So if I get, take this up to three, I can pop it and blow up only one of mine, uh, let's swing at you're an enchantment. So I guess I'll swing here. I am a little bit worried about the crack back, so I need to keep the uh, Johnny's Pride Mate back. Okay. There we go. And then, past turn. I wonder what he's planning. 
I have no idea. He could be planning anything. Pay no attention. Okay. It's the one that... Or the Unity. Look at the top five. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good. Ooh. Okay. Clan Caller. Uh-oh. And fun fact, this thing is an elf. Yeah, elves. Yeesh. Oh no, so maybe I should... Do I put this on two instead? No, because that hits... It does hit Daxos, if I put it on two. No, I, I need to take out Marwyn. It do, it's not great either way, to be honest. Oh god. Alright, so there's another. DJ Kali, another one. Another one. Another one. Alright. Let's put two charge counters. One, two, on you. Alright. Pay it. Pay it. Play it. Pop it. We can attack just to attack. Um, okay. Okay, Vivian. It doesn't really matter how I do this. Okay. Yeah, we're losing the Rex Sage anyway, so might as well. Ah, okay. I mean, that's fine. That's fair. You don't have anything that... Yeah, no lifelink, nothing like that. All right. Boom. And then wait. As always, wait. see what we're looking at here. Elvish Archer. No, Clan Caller. Ah, I don't think I chose correctly, folks. I think I may have been a little bit off. Little bit. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. We might be in trouble. I really should have seen this coming. Clan caller into clan caller into clan caller. I really should have seen that coming. And there's only one blast zone. Well, no, there might be two in the deck. Actually, no, there are two. But still, it's not ideal. All right. And this is three. Eight. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. All right, I could use that other blast zone. Ah, okay, so this deck no longer has Settle the Wreckage. Wait, no, it might. It might, actually. All right. Seal away. Huh. So, Banneret. White, obviously. get rid of you. I'm trying. I'm doing what I can. But it's not looking great for the T1 crew. Uh, Vivian Reed obviously can do her thing. Oh, God. Yeah, she can get rid of either of mine. Presumably the seal away first, for obvious reasons. Get, our, get a lord back. Jeez. Gee, okay. <laughs> 7, 39. What's going on? Okay, okay. Alright, that's right. Elves are so much fun. Druid of the Cal. Okay. I So, in playing Jumpstart, I haven't actually come across elves yet. 
At least not that I... I don't believe I have. If I did, it was back in discarding archaeology, and I just didn't remember it. But I can, Thankfully, I can go back and check, but... Wow. Uh, there should be one more clan caller in there somewhere. Okay. Well, I mean... Hmm. I guess we'll just play out our hand. Alright. Triggers! All of the triggers. Decline. Could use... Something. Oh, <laughs> uh, what what could I use? Actually, at this point, the other Ajani. I guess that would be okay. No attacks. Twenty six, twenty five, folks. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh God! Now, that is not Crater Hoof Behemoth. It's just plus two, plus two. But Crater Hoof Behemoth is in this format. Crater Hoof is on MTG Arena. Oh, my goodness. Budget Crater Hoof is fine. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. I mean, I am at 54, but it isn't going to take much. 55. 56. Another one. Another one. And we have Arch. We just have all of the cards. Only 14 to go. I should have put the real one in. I think I have some. Oh. Nice. I have a sneaking suspicion you're going to win this. Uh, Vivian Snipe? Because that would be four clan callers. Have you opened the Jumpstart Elves pack? Oh man. Yeah! Life gain! Woo! I swear. Even at this point, even Shadow Spear wouldn't save me. Alright. There's no point to play that yet. I mean, it wouldn't let me activate Memorial anyway. So that's four and tap. So there's not even a point in doing it now. I might as well hold something up. Alright, Vivian. Plus two, plus two, and Vigilance, and Trample, and Indestructible. Alright, holding up full control. Uh, but just, just fire Vivian. <laughs> ah, I'm very thoroughly dead. Yep, yeah, okay, there we go. It's like she can read my mind. I swear, I'm not streaming this. This is, this is going up, uh, afterwards. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, I have full control, so even hitting re revol uh, resolve all won't speed that up. This has to be lethal. Come on. <laughs> right? Alright. Still going to ask me. Yep, there we go. Huh. Is there a way? I believe that the answer is heck no. I believe. I'm pretty sure that the answer is heck no. Incubation Druid. Oh. Okay. Okay. We're getting really close, folks. There's no way that this ends up working out for me. There is a negative chance. Oh boy. Alright, so passing right along. Ooh! Okay. So, I can activate this for two 1-1s, one uh, or, better yet, it doesn't actually matter, I'm very thoroughly dead. I still should have saved the land drop, actually. I don't know why I played it out there. I had enough to uh, get Battalion Foot Soldier. Hello? Touchscreen. Alright, here we go. There we go. Alright, so we are very thoroughly dead.
but I'm still having fun, so let's play it out. Alright. Let's not... Oh my goodness. My kingdom for a shadow spear. Okay, there we go. It's the toughness that actually matters for this turn, though. But still, because none of my creatures can kill any of... Aha! Okay. Okay. So, I am very dead. I am exceedingly dead at this point. I do not see how I survived this. But I'm going to have fun while I'm at it. Oh my god! Wait, does this have trample as well? Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, because uh, Enray's grants trample. Dear God. <laughs> nice. Oops. Uh, okay, let's just see how... Let's see how much damage this is. No blocks. I boom. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a boy. <laughs> That's not too shabby. That's not too shabby at all. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> all right. Could we play one more standard? Standard game? Uh, just one more. I wonder what I have up my sleeve. What could it possibly be, folks? I wonder what Jay is up to. <laughs> I, I, Ruglin, if you know me well at all, I, I think you can suspect what's about to happen here. Okay, here goes. Okay. Yeah, no actual land destruction here, though. We'll see what's up. She might think that this is glass. This is that rug glass deck I played twice. Flower. Okay, that's already not a great thing for a land destruction deck to see. Uh... But you know what? I think this is okay. Oh wait, she sees the Garuda, so she knows exactly what this deck is. <laughs> she knows exactly what to expect. Uh-oh. Pussy! Yeah. Might as well. Might as well take it. Oi. Healer's so Oh, okay. I was... Not expecting that. Oh! Is this... Uh, okay. I am... Thoroughly tempted... To... So I think that the right answer here is to use a lava coil on the Paradise Druid. To cut her off from colors. And then while I'm at it... I don't know if I'd like to use a lava coil here. I think that this is probably okay. I can live with those two creatures. Probably ought to save it for something like a Conclave Cavalier. Something like that. See if that's what it is. Oh! Oh! Okay. No Healer's Hawk. Rooklyn knows the deck and knows that there's no haste in it. I think. I think she... Well, no, there is, because Ravager won, but not until I get to six mana. We're a little slow. Okay, what you got? Oh, that's why. Okay. There's nothing I've seen that I don't love. 
I'll be playing Selesnia Glass at some point. Alright, let's get back into it. Uh, let's decline because we have another one. Although, if I find a land, if I find a land, I could get Garuda and a Kefnet that's third from the top. If I find a land. Now, there are 26 lands in this deck. I'm actually not Oh, I'm not over 50%. I'm not even at 50% to get a land here. So I should decline. I believe. There we go. Oh, right on time. Right on time. Not at all. Okay. Well, we found one. Yeah, I can't even hit the Incubation Druid here. I can, but it won't do me any good because she can adapt it in response and it'll have five toughness. Okay. Yeah, we need to really start doing something. Um... Okay, so what am I looking at for this next turn? One, three, six, nine. I'm looking at Lethal, and if she can get rid of Kefnet again, I just lose the game. So I need to fire a coil at something. So let's fire it at you. March! Oh no, I'm dead anyway. Oh wow. Good game. Bing. <laughs> Oops. No, no land destruction. And not only no land destruction, no ramp. That is a very slow version of that deck. Uh, I didn't find Paradise Druid. <laughs> no LD or ramp. Feels bad, man. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what happens when the deck doesn't get to do its thing. It happens. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for jamming. <laughs> uh whenever you're whenever you're good. Just let me know. In the meantime, these two that I haven't gotten yet. So I, I always try to play to four wins because after four, it takes every other to get any gold and it's a lot less. So I, I still try to just do four. Plus, you always get at least a 500 gold quest every day. So that means you get at least 1,050 every day. So you get a pack a day. That sounds like a smoker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything you'd like to plug while we're here? <laughs> uh, it's like, what's the thing on Twitter where when someone's tweet goes viral, it's like, hey, here's my sound SoundCloud. <laughs> SoundCloud. Or uh, hopefully something more noble than that, like a, a charity, or even just something like a, a, a YouTube channel, whatever you have. Whatever you have. To, to be honest, I'm not above saying, hey, sub to me on YouTube if something goes, this is... <laughs> oh yeah, he needs, he needs to play Infect more. <laughs> Don't have anything to play. <laughs> yeah, Dima Glisterolf, thanks to quarantine, has not played Infect in a bit. Except by the time this goes up, I will have, thankfully. <laughs> Have a good day, then. 
Alright. Yeah, because of the hour because of the difference in hours. It's good night for me. Good day for Rugal. Alright. That's it, Magic Community. You know what? You know what? What while we're here. Actually, we're not gonna say done yet. We're gonna play a little bit more. Eeny meeny miny. You know what? What was this? I don't think I gave land destruction a good enough showing just then. Whoa! Where did land destruction go? Four cards. Oh, because I switched back to Grow Spiral. That's right. You know what? In that case. In that case. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, Rukulin, I just played a non standard deck against you because I put Growth Spiral back in. For historic. So this is exactly what used to be a standard deck prior to the banning. Now it's historic. But, uh, now thankfully it didn't make a difference in our game. <laughs> so I'm just almost going to play a standard deck in historic. What could go wrong? This. This could go wrong. Okay. Whale. All right. I mean, it it might end up being more than all right. This is a Yorian deck, and I'm on the play. I'm probably okay here. So I just go get a mountain. Play breeding. Eh, we got a, we got a we got a land, but it's a land that comes in tap. Okay, this is alright. If I don't find a, an appropriate land, I'll just add Groot at a hand. It'll be slow, but it, it, it works. We, we got there. We got there, folks. Uh, blue is generally the more important one. Let's just not let them play at all. Okay, so we're at four now. Actually, we could keep both of these. We really could. In that order, too. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Ah, oh, Triome. Unfortunately, there is a tiny problem. Itsy bitsy teeny weeny problem. Uh, I can't use Ravager Worm on it just yet. I am, I am destroying the one that deals with fewer colors so that I can save this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I might not get my chance, though. Yeah, we're still gonna fire it off, then. That's unfortunate. Alright. Interesting. Doing it now. Alright. Uh, you know what? We're in the driver's seat. Okay. Hi, Kefnet. With a mana base like that, I think that I can get away with this. Okay, we got there. Yeah, yeah, okay, that was quick. Welcome to Historic, Population Paradise Druid. And in no lands. Population Paradise Druid and zero lands. Okay, let's, let's do that again. Let's do that again. That's what happens when the deck mostly does what it's supposed to You know, let's face it, that's what it's supposed to do. Uh, if you can... Sometimes you'll need to make the decision to play Kefnet first, if you have it, instead of starting to destroy their lands. Uh, but even then, unfortunately, there's a little bit of a nombo between Garuda and Kefnet. Kefnet wants you to play a lot, a lot of instants and sorcerers. Garuda wants you to play enough creatures little bit of a nombo there, but the fact that you play Garuda means that you definitely have a creature in your hand, and one of the ways you can lose playing land destruction is blow up all their lands but never actually find a win con. So having a companion is essential in my estimation, and pretty much the one that works for this is Garuda. It works for what I'm trying to do. That's not necessarily the case. You could get away with something like Yorian. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. You're, you're watering your deck down, but you could, and you would be freed from the restriction restriction of only playing uh, even-numbered CMCs. Now, we don't have any ramp in this hand, and we only have two, three lands, actually. We only have three lands. 
Spoke too soon. Okay. So, no Llanowar Elves. Okay, Starfield Mystic. You must die. It's a Ganon, CDI Ganon. You must die. Alright, play you. And pass. You dare bring light into my lair? You must die. Jeez. I love that so much. I love everything about that. I'm going to fire this off now. It probably should be the Scorching Dragon Fire, I believe. Yeah, no, 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 it's... Hmm... Uh, no, let's do Lava Coil. Sorcery Speed versus 3 damage. Alright. So maybe we can just not let our opponent play. Okay. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. It's when you cast. So let's do this... now. This this might come back in punishment. Oh, they had... okay. No uh, Carmench's Blessing in hand. Mirari. Play Mirari. Just... okay. No. Well, that's unfortunate. At least we still have Dragonfire up. Okay, so I see, I see what's going on here. So we definitely would like to have play Kefnet here. If we don't find that second green, we can't play Ravager Worm, but I think in the next two lands we should be able to. Itchy knows. Okay, Detection Tower. Makes no difference to me. It's a... Uh, yeah. Yeah, didn't have hex roof. Yeah, it makes zero difference to us. In that case, we're going to fire off the rubble reading. Because we have Kefnat. Um, maybe I should... Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll try it. It's a little weird putting a land down. I would like to start performing the loop. And not, it's not an actual loop. Oh, shall I? Okay. I get punished for not having lava coil anymore. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying to keep them off of everything. Yeah, Shalai protects you, planeswalkers you control, and other creatures. It says nothing about your lands. It's not permanence, thankfully. Uh, but this is going to make another creature able to survive Dragonfire here. Unfortunately. Ooh, okay. Ah, so Vigilance and Lifelink, right? Flying Vigilance Lifelink. Can I... Can I find something, please? That would be nice. Alright. Hmm. Alright, well, let's just cut you completely off of one of your colors. Save the Fable Passage. Oh, God. Okay. We're done. We're done. I don't know how I survived this. No blocks. Oh wait, yes I do. Yes I do. I would need to block and have the mana for Scorching Dragonfire. Alright. That's pretty good. Sadly, though, they can. Let's not do that yet. Let's wait. And then... pass. Okay, please don't have another one. Oh! Why did I have to say something? Open mouth. Insert foot.
Okay, so now how do I get out of this? 12, 13. What on God's green earth do I have that can deal enough damage? Uh, do I have... No, I don't have any bounce effects in this version. I'm going to give him the good game. I sadly cannot beat that. I got him down to three lands, but unfortunately they found another mask. This is historic, after all. That is definitely a card. Holy crap, that is a card. Hmm. Alright. You know what? I'm actually kind of tempted to play Mono White Auras just to kind of do that same thing. No Satessian Champion or anything like that, but you get Core Spirit Dancer, so if you play green, you can play both. If you don't mind... <laughs> That's a pretty high curve, though, isn't it? Opponent goes for... Okay. No ramp, and they go first. But two removal spells, so hopefully we'll be okay. JP Murmur, I've played you before. Oh my goodness, I'm getting tired. I can tell. I can tell. I can see how tired I'm getting. You know when you get that sort of foggy appearance over your eyes? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to play to one more win. That's all. Just one more win. Mr. Krabs now. Oh, okay. You, and now we have ramp. So actually, aside from being on the draw, this is, this is fine. And sometimes when you're land destruction, being on the draw can be okay. You deprive them of a card, which means you potentially deprive them of a land. Yes, I probably should have scorched it, but I would like to get the ramp on. I think it's more important that I cut my opponent off of mana. I can scorch it at any time. Okay. Maybe they know what's happening here. Uh-oh. Maybe. Okay, I, I feel like Phoenix might be here in a few turns. That's never a good thing. Arclight Phoenix. Arclight Phoenix is best Phoenix. Alright, so there's one. Although, I don't think that there's any way... Yeah, there isn't any way on three mana that they can get Arclight into their graveyard and cast three spells. I mean, there is, but not viably. There's the one red adventure that is uh, just discard a card, draw a card. Oh, fun! Okay, well this is crazy town. I st it's still correct for me to destroy a land on this coming turn, but... Wow, we're gonna take a lot of damage. Holy crap, we're gonna take a lot of damage. Alright. All right, let's see. Spell Pierce! Ooh! Okay. Huh. Well, okay, then. I admit, I was not expecting that. There's nothing else for them to do aside from tap the alchemist, so I'm at nine. Virtual eight. Okay, there we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, folks. So now we have to Scorch it. This is entirely too low of a life total. And they they have the ability to get out Phoenix. Kyria. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! This is just when it deals damage. Not combat damage, just damage. Oh, that's, that's an interesting way to do it. Ah, uh, I mean... Ow. Okay, so maybe th maybe there aren't phoenixes. I I doubt it, but maybe there aren't. All right. What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. All right, let's fire this thing off immediately before anything else. Just get this out of the way. All right. Cool. Cool. 
could use an extra card. All right, and then let them go. Let them do their thing. So curiosity replaced itself. I guess that's fine. One mana draw a card on an enchantment. It could have been significant. Ah, significantly worse. That is one way that it could have been worse. Yeah. Okay, here goes. Two cards. Oh, wow! Um, maybe they just got flooded. That's entirely possible. I, I don't know that I necessarily got a great sense for what their deck was trying to do, to be honest. You know what, while we're here, let's open a pack. Let's open a pack. I've been opening Ikoria because I'm trying to stack up on the Trilands, so let's do that. Let's do that. They help with brewing a lot. Oh, hello, wrong section. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Sprite Dragon again? Okay. Oh, wait, I already have four. I just picked you up today, and here's my second one already. That's nice. Everything else I already have it. Oh. By everything else, I mean I care about you, and I care about you, and I care about you, and I care about you. But I guess that's interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so in a menace deck, that's just a nice little one mana uh, act of treason. That's cool. All right. Well, there's <laughs> there's the deck. Oh, it's Fox. Toya. Mission complete. This is what happens when Fox and Falco fuse. Oh no. Oh no. Now I can't get that out of my head. Now I would like to play it for that exact reason, just so I can have I can make a Fox and Falco joke. I do know that there are people that play melee uh, that work at Watsi, or at least that worked at Watsi. And no, no, still work. Papa Paint's still there, actually. Tom Ross was on there. Oh my goodness. Anyway, anyway. Thank you, Magic Community, for, for hanging out. And again, thank you thank you to Rooklyn for hanging out specifically. If you would like to jam against me whenever the heck you feel like, um, Patreon, you also get access to the I Have an Infect Guide. Um, you can, at enough, you can ask me to do deck decks for you. You can make me do deck decks for you. Um, patron access to the Discord. You can get on the Discord anyway, but there's like a patron-only section. Uh, and other stuff. I have it listed there that I'll be doing streams, but my internet here is terrible. So in lieu of that, we, we play Arena and whatever else. Uh, but uh, there will be patron-only streams once the internet allows me to. Uh, Alright. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye!